Welcome to The Ellen Show. I am your guest host, Twitch. Now, uh, Ellen wanted to be here, but she couldn't make bail in time. So, <laughs> it's all right, but don't worry, you're in good hands. These things have been washed and sanitized many times, many times. <laughs> now, since Ellen isn't here today, I want to talk about something she doesn't know a lot about, and that's going from being a cool parent to an uncool parent, right? <laughs> So when you have kids, it doesn't take long before they go from saying like, you know, oh, you're amazing, you, you hung the moon, to ew, you're so embarrassing, leave me alone, stay <laughs> over there, you know? Like for example, like my daughter Wesley, she's 13, cool, like super cool, the coolest, right? But guess who she does not think is cool right now? <laughs> me, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I had to pick her up from the mall the other day, um, and when I got there, this is real, uh, when I got there, she said, don't come in here, I'll come out to you. <laughs> First of all, you at the mall. Like, I can go in the mall if I want to go in the mall. <laughs> you don't own the mall. I own the mall. <laughs> I don't really own the mall, but that's something that parents will say in the heat of the moment to prove that, you know, we're not gonna be told what to do by our kids. So we compromised. I waited in the car for her to come out. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I know, like, this is something that happens when they get to a certain age, because, like, so my son Maddox, he's five, and our youngest daughter, Zaya, is, like, one and a half, and they, th they still think we're cool, right? Like, Zaya hasn't said it yet because she can't talk, but <laughs> I know her first words won't be, like, Dad, stop, you're embarrassing me, you know? <laughs> but if they were, I'd, I'd, I'd be impressed, because that's a <laughs> lengthy sentence for her first words, but then also hurt, but impressed, though, you know? <laughs> Uh, but this is something that almost all parents go through, no matter who they are. Like, at some point, you won't be cool enough for your kids, even if you're Lenny Kravitz, you know? <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. There's no way that that guy was not ever uncool. That's, that's, that's out of the question. And for the parents who, you know, who think, like, oh, no, that won't be me. I'll be cool. You're wrong. Because <laughs> the only thing worse than being uncool is trying to be cool, right? <laughs> like, you can listen to your kids' music, but if you try and sing along, immediately uncool. <laughs> Same thing with go, like going to trying to talk like your kids, right? You can't pull it off. And you don't believe me? I want you to try this. Try using lit or fleek in front of your, 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 your teenagers. Radio silence. <laughs> crickets, crickets, crickets. Awkward. Yeah. So look, this, I guess what I'm trying to say is that your kids won't think you're cool all the time, but that's okay. Because like the coolest thing that you can do is Love your kids for who they are and always be, f be there for them, right? Even if that means waiting in your car for them outside the mall. <laughs>